Hello crafters, Minion79 here and welcome back to the Broke Rock server. Well, I have been busy um, and also been a little bit responsible. Uh, responsible you say? Um, I know, it doesn't sound like me. <laughs> um, uh, I have died two more times um, during my responsible actions. <laughs> um, and the piece of responsibility I'm talking about is... Um, I took some screenshots of the area, recorded my coordinates for the area, and posted them in a relevant channel for the Broke Rockers to let them know where I will be basing. Now, unfortunately, it has come to my attention that I am not the only person that has chosen this area. Um, in between uh, my 10 deaths and lighting up this entire area, and the time that I started building in this area, uh, somebody else has claimed it. So they've put a picture up claiming the area after I lit it up um, while I was sleeping in the real world <laughs> uh, before I had a chance to uh, lay true claim to the area. Um, so we're going to have to have a little bit of mediation and uh, hopefully sort it out with words. <laughs> um, but we shall see. Unfortunately, I am outnumbered by three to one. <laughs> um... So I'm not sure how that's going to go. Um, hopefully we'll find a, a sensible solution. Um, maybe even share the area. Right, once this is sorted out, I'll be back. And uh, for now, I'll just be gathering some extra resources, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we're back. And as you can see, I am in a field of cows. They are going mental. <laughs> for the lovely delicious wheat we are offering them Woo. Um, and why have we got these cows well I am working on getting my I want to say crafting no enchanting my enchanting setup <laughs> uh, obviously we need books for that and for books you need leather or uh, villagers to trade with so I've gone the easy route uh, get some leather um, with a little help from Kona, um, we coerced a couple of cows down into the cavern and have been breeding them ever since. So not really that long. Um, we also got a couple of cacti. Uh, the cacti uh, we're going to be using down here to help protect us from the slimes. We're going to spawn a couple of golems um, and aggro the slimes away from where we are working. Um, I'm going to have to look at uh, how to trap the golem. I think we're doing fence posts. I think. I think. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I'm pretty sure that is a thing. And then we'll just surround it with cacti. Um, uh, Bob's your uncle. Um, <laughs> No more slimes bothering us. Um, we're doing all right on the sugar canes. Um, we have an XP bank on the go. Um, we've got uh, potatoes on this side. We've got bamboo on that side. Are we all out of bamboo already or are we all out of wheat? Which are we out of? Uh, we've got plenty of bamboo. We're out of potatoes. Let's go grab some potatoes. Are there any in here? Don't tell me I've run out of potatoes. Oh, I have gone and run out of potatoes. Right, and then the other good news is that I have spoken to the boss of the server, Centronet. Um, he's assured me that uh, we can work peacefully and mutually together in this area, so I don't have to move, which is great. Um, it just means now I have to think about what it is I am going to do in this area. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no pressure. No pressure at all. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to it. He also has a couple of base mates camping out with him out there. Um, I won't reveal who they are uh, as he hasn't revealed them or the camp mates haven't revealed themselves either. Um, but yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, one of them has already gone out, done a little bit of grinding and bought back a couple of bits and pieces for me. Um, some snow. Uh, what else? Some flowers, some lily pads, 
Um, I'm trying to think what else. I'm not really sure, but what I do know is that uh, I'm sure we're going to be good friends down here. Um, and I have segregated off my area. I don't know if you saw. Uh, I want to say waterfall. It's not really a waterfall. It's more of a water curtain. Um, but I like it. It looks nice. Um, we've got the scaffold up on the inside. I'm debating whether or not to leave that or remove it. Let's go. We'll go out this way. I can show you. Wait, I think it looks very grand on this side. It looks very purposeful. Um, do you see the stones coming in there? And if they're not coming in there, they're coming in through the scaffold itself. Uh, just non-stop. Where'd he go? He was right here. <laughs> now they're just trolling me. <laughs> and then from the outside, I think it looks kind of nice too. Uh, I think I need um, maybe try and make it a bit smaller. So maybe bring the cave in a little bit as it comes up around here. Make the entrance smaller. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, depends on the beautifying of the area around it. I suppose if there's a few trees here and a bit of moss here and there. I would say this would uh, blend in very, very nicely. Um, and then... <coughs> um, Again, I'm not sure about how it looks with the scaffold, but I think it's nice. I think it is nice. And then I have to make a proper pathway gateway in. I was thinking if we had a slime killer here, ish, a golem, a golem guard there, we could make it a feature. And maybe one on the other side as well. You know, standing guard to minions area, overlooking Centronet's area. You know. Me in the highlands, Sunchnet in the lowlands. <laughs> um, but I'm not, not I'm really, really, really not sure of um, what sort of cave building to do down here. I mean, I suppose the next week or so is still going to be taken up just getting a few bits and pieces together. Well, I don't know how long it'll be till we're doing the dragon fight, but I'm pretty sure it won't be long. And I do not want to be doing it in unenchanted gear <laughs> um, it's unlikely to be netherite gear but at least enchanted so we'll carry on working on harvesting the potatoes let's put those actually in the machine and then they can cook away in you go my sweeties yum, 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 yum. Um, let's have a look how many are we up to Ooh. Um, one sixth of a chest that's not bad. That's a few hours work. <laughs> uh, this is our temporary bamboo harvesting area. It's nice. It's like out the way. It's a bit pokey. And we set ourselves up uh, some mining areas. We did we set up one here at Y12, 13. Yeah, minus 13. Um, but it's hard going, going through the deep state. Then I set one up at minus 2. So it's kind of a mix. That's where I've done most of the mining. Um, Hit a ravine out here, uh, which goes out pretty big. Uh, it's very interesting down there. There's loads of stuff to see. Um, so yeah, that's a that's a good find there. It had been previously unexplored, so that was nice. Oh oh, I missed it. Don't miss it. Where is it? I put the torches on the wall, so I didn't miss it. Where is it? Done it, yeah, that. yeah, and then I also did one uh, just a little bit higher up, so maybe I could get a little bit of coal as well. Um, and again, um, mostly coal, not really a lot of anything else, a bit of iron, a bit of coal, but then nothing special. But they're set up anyway, uh, and then I suppose I could keep on going up to the surface if I needed to. Um, I found this area, I cleaned it out. Oh, there's a good few mobs down here. I keep hearing spiders. I don't know where they're coming from. I spent half an hour up and down, up and down, listening, not listening, listening, not listening. Couldn't find the source of the noise. They're here somewhere. Um, so I think there might be a spider spawner somewhere. Although I'm not hearing it now. No. 
Maybe it was just my imagination. <laughs> um, yes, and I suppose we can keep on going up. Uh, I'm not sure where I would break through to. I've got a feeling it'll be in the ocean. As there is a lot of ocean. What? Oh, come on now, boys. Just leave me alone, yeah? <laughs> uh, <coughs> so we will... Excuse me. So we will get a little bit more done. Um, have a little tidy up. Maybe make something a little bit more permanent for the episode. Um, when we've done that... We'll see where to go from there. All right, see you in a little bit. Okay, so we're back. I've managed to get um, an enchanting setup working, uh, which is nice. Uh, obviously, I still don't have the levels. I'm still working on getting the XP farm up and running. This is going well-ish. <laughs> Uh, it's definitely a work in progress anyway. Hopefully by next episode we'll see that maxed out for a single double chest. Uh, we've got an auto composter going as well, which we were throwing seeds in. I'm sure we'll find some other stuff throwing. Might throw some moss in there. Uh, we need obviously something that's going to make make more than what it uses. Um, but I'd say probably cocoa beans might not be a bad shout because they seem to grow very quickly. And we got some golems out guarding the front. Although I now realise that I may have been given some bad information um, at the end of a long day as they are not aggroing the slimes. The slimes will bounce into the cacti um, just because they're pretty stupid. Um, and if you let the golems run around free, they will absolutely decimate the slimes. But they don't aggro them <laughs> from inside their cages. Um, I think we're going to have to swap those out with snowmen. But still, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, um, let me know what you think. Uh, if you like the episode, give me a thumbs up. Uh, and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time um, when we start building the inside of that area. Thanks again for joining me. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.